Hello everybody, I am E-Rock with Gamers Gamble and this is my Game of the Year list for 2014. My fucking list. Alright, but so let's get right into it. I'm going to be fairly quick. Best downloaded game of the year. I got to give that to Shovel Knight. It looks like a mixture of 8-bit and 16-bit, but it fucking plays awesome. As soon as I downloaded that game, I did not stop until I beat the damn thing. That's not something I usually do. Alright, now, best action game. Uh, gonna have to go with none other than Bayonetta 2. Came with two games for the price of one, and you had just a shit ton of content to go through. You had a damn good story. Not the best story, but it had a very good, like just a combination of everything. That's my game of the year for the action genre. All right, best handheld game. Moving on. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to, I know everybody's going to disagree with me because of Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. But I'm not a Pokemon fan. This is my list. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to Bravely Default. G gave us a turn-based RPG with something fresh and new. Just enough to make it fresh and new enough. Uh, had a great story, but uh, it had a fairly decent story, pretty good voice acting. The job class system came back. I actually kind of enjoy the job class system. Uh, gave you hours upon hours of gameplay, plenty of extras. Uh, so yeah, that's my handheld game of the year. Uh, Alright, now... I'm going to get into uh, another one that I'm really not a big fan of, but this is the one that stood out in my mind the most and I really enjoyed playing it, is racing. And that's uh, my game of the year for racing is Mario Kart 8. Plenty of red turtle shells were thrown, some green, but even more blue ones. Thank you for the fucking uh, little sound horn that can save you from that, but lo and fucking behold, I never fucking get it when I need it. So yeah, that's a thing. All right, now I'm gonna go into my little other list, and that is a uh, best protagonist, and I've got to give it to none other than Bayonetta. She's a she's a woman that is strong, powerful, great sense of humor, very cheeky, and you do not fuck with Bayonetta. Just saying. All right, so uh, my. You know, you do one side, you gotta do the other. Best protagonist, and I've gotta give that to Pagan Men. Dude was hilarious, he was cutthroat, he was ruthless, and he could make you laugh. That, that goes a long way with me. If you can make me laugh, you have a chance to stay on my good side. But, yes. Alright, now, here's another one. Best Disappointment of 2014. Gotta give it to Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Yes, that very same game that many of us spent $30 on a fucking demo. That's basically what it was. It was a little teaser just in order to give you an idea of what the next Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain is going to be like. But just enough to piss you off that you spent money on a fucking demo. But it was a great game. But it was super fucking short. Yeah. Best disappointment. Alright, now, the best troll of the year? Oh, you know which one I'm going for, don't you? Final Fantasy VII, the PS4 edition. Yes, that very, very same port to PC to fucking PS4, and they're going to charge you 16 bucks for that same game you already own on your PS3. Or PC, or both. Hell. Yes, it's upscaled a little bit. I don't give a fuck. It was still a dick move. Sony, Square Enix, who the fuck ever came up with that idea? You're a horrible person. You're a horrible, horrible person. Alright, so now that's the end of my list. And if you, get, if you agree with it, yay. If not, I really don't give a fuck. All right, so now we're going to go on to the honorable mentions. Well, honorable mention, because only one that really came to mind. Now, this is a game that, whenever it was first released, was broken as fuck. Yeah, I played it without the patch. That 6.51 gigabyte patch. Yes, none other than Assassin's Creed Unity. 
Now, after the patch, the game was very enjoyable. I'm still enjoying it. Awesome. The level of customization on, on your character, being able to do co-op missions with your friends and heists. One of my friends, we did some co-op missions the other day, and he ran in there guns blazing, or just ran in there, and I ran in right behind him and saved his ass. He saved mine a few times, but we both had a great time. But because it was released broken, it was not eligible for any of my Game of the Year categories. But, yeah, that's my list. I'm E-Rock. Keep on gaming. Peace.